Today, we're on a top secret proving ground in Spain and we will be trying to bring our AMGs to the limit. I can show you how I drive when I really test the worst case. Uh, we can see what happens. That was crazy. <laughs> okay, so that was actually quite pretty much worst case because I hit it pretty well there. We spend a lot of time in development finding the very specific spot of the car how we have to steer it to hit that worst case spot because someday some client it might happen to him and we want to be absolutely sure that he's not going to flip the car at that point and in this case actually specifically for you we put the car into a state we put software on it that's from the very beginning of the development process when we started testing all these things and when we were figuring out what we have to change so mm. the finalist car we put software on it to make sure this doesn't happen but you can still have fun with it. Yeah, so thanks a lot for that because actually I'm feeling a little dizzy right now. But it's good to know that this doesn't happen on the street, isn't it? <laughs> That's true. So actually at AMG, we're not only making sure it's safe, we're also making sure you can still have a lot of fun with the car. We want to keep it agile. We want, we want to give to the driver as much fun as possible while still keeping it safe. Finding the sweet spot between both. Exactly, that's what we do. So with that, we're gonna jump into the GT now. Okay, let's go. It's a shame that nobody will hit me. No pain, no gain, watch who you bang with. Make it to the top with the same ones I came with. You can try to save yourself, but you only go pay yourself. All right, Catherine. So this is gonna be the last test where you're gonna be in the passenger seat. Okay, so what are we going to do now? You're gonna see, which is gonna drive off and you'll see. Okay, let's go. So this is this is a bit of an extreme version of the test we do to okay. test the high speed stability of the car. As we mentioned before, we don't usually do it when there's water on the track. So now it was a bit more extreme. But this is basically where you see that, that where we check that the uh, customer, whatever he tries to do at high speed, the car is going to be stable. Yeah. And when it gets instable, it's controllable. Mm -hmm. So this was already the extreme version. It's stability control off. So you, you could feel that the car yeah. moves a lot but it's controllable you can't so touch it you're making sure that the beast is tameable yeah exactly <laughs> kind of. okay we're making sure you can have fun even at high speed but it's controllable so what uh, aspects of the car do you pay the attention to during this maneuver so obviously the faster we go uh, the more importance moves to aero mm -hmm. you have more airflow so especially in this car in the gt we have the active aero in the yeah. back we have the wing in the front, we have a movable lip, basically moves out at higher speed, okay. giving the car more stability. Uh, other things that are important are the base setup of the car, like the suspension setup, everything. Yeah. Also tires as well. You have the very high performance tires where it, you have a lot of grip mm -hmm. and then it slips and you have like more daily street tires. T tires are always an important yeah. topic uh, when it comes to cars so if you're more interested into uh, the whole topic of tires you can check out the inside amg episode t where we talk a lot about tires okay so now we're going to move back to hendrik and we're going to look at some data that we measure during these kinds of tests and you'll see some results we get from them perfect all right you can try to save yourself, but you want to go save yourself. So Hendrik, what do we have here? Well, as we talked a lot about objective testing right now, um, I wanted to show you a few graphs of what we actually see while high-speed testing. So we're doing some tests at different lateral accelerations. And here you can see two graphs, one of a car that we don't like actually, because what we normally want is that the car is pretty agile at low speeds 
and then it should uh, go down and then here you can see the yellow one goes up again mm -hmm. so that is not as good and the purple one actually goes down it's pretty agile at low speed and then really decreases at higher speed and that's actually what we want we did the high speed testing and now it's for you time to jump in the driver's seat i can't wait okay perfect then let's go This is our steering robot and we're doing some certification maneuvers with the steering robot and every car manufacturer actually has to do this maneuver and is supervised by the certification organization. Well, this is a sign with dwell ma maneuver. Uh, it's actually a, a lane change where it's holding the steering angle for a couple of times or a couple of seconds um, so that we can see the side deviation uh, of the car and you actually have to reach a specific deviation uh, so that you can pass a test. Okay, so do they drive it or are they in the car? No, actually our drivers are driving the maneuver in the most agile mode we got for a car and the organization is sitting outside actually on a folding chair on the ground and sees everything working out. Enjoying the show. Yes, <laughs> okay. right. So what do I do? The test is pretty easy actually. You set the speed limiter to 90 kilometers an hour okay. and uh, then just go straight. And if you reach the 90, you press the green button on the left side and then you go off throttle and then hit the dead man switch behind the steering wheel and just hold to the handle and uh, please don't grab inside the steering wheel, just stick to the handles and everything else the car will do by itself feels very weird, but I'll try to do it. It's not that hard, so... And nothing could happen, so you could just go whenever you're ready. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> Perfect, so that was actually it. Well done. Yay! You can start working for us, no problem. I was just <laughs> going to say, you think a career change would be good now? No problem. <laughs> we always need good employees, so whenever you feel ready, just come and join us. <laughs> What a crazy experience. Thank you both so much for the day. I had a blast. And I think our community has a better understanding now on what effort goes into active safety. We're glad that you were here and enjoyed the day. So now you know what our team is doing and thanks for coming. Totally, thank you and see you soon. You're welcome. If you enjoyed this video, give us a like, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for notifications. Thank you so much and see you next time.